So let's have an example of the uh, magnetic force exerted by a magnetic field on a moving charge. So let's have this problem. A proton moves at 3 times 10 to the 5 meters per second through a uniform magnetic field with a magnitude 2 tesla that is directed along the positive z-axis. The velocity of the proton lies along the xz plane at an angle of 30 degrees to the positive z-axis. Find the magnitude and direction of the mag magnetic force on the proton. So first, let us uh, draw. So let us say we have uh, the axis. Uh, so we have, okay. So this is positive x. And then this is positive y and this is positive z okay and uh, say the proton is at the origin okay that and uh, the velocity of the proton uh, positive charge q the velocity of the proton is uh, this way, okay, and uh, it makes an angle of 30 degrees with the positive z or to the positive z. So this is the uh, velocity p. Okay, so uh, the magnetic field, according to the problem, has a magnitude of two tesla, and it's directed this way. Okay. Now, the diagram, of course, is uh, three-dimensional, and uh, you, you may draw it in, in um, any view that uh, you feel comfortable with. Uh, for example, I can draw this uh, uh, as an alternative uh, figure. So this is the top view. Okay. And uh, from the top view, okay, so let's look at our x, y, z, okay? So normally, so we have positive x, okay? We have positive y, and then we have positive z. Now, when you say top view, you're going to look here. So I'm going to tilt this like this. So this is now positive y, this is positive x, and this is positive z. So our, uh, our axis would look like this. So this is x, and this is z, and uh, y is directed out of the board, and the proton is here, okay? And uh, the velocity lies along the x-z plane, and the velocity is like this, okay? So velocity v, and it makes an angle of 30 degrees. makes an angle of 30 degrees with the positive z and then the magnetic field is directed along positive z so there you go okay so this is the magnetic field b okay so first let's have the magnitude which is pretty easy because we already know that uh, the magnitude of F is equal to the magnitude of Q times B times B times sine phi. So everything is here, like for example, the charge of a proton, everybody knows it. The charge of a proton is uh, 1.6 times 10, well, two, two significant figures. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. Okay, so just the magnitude. And then uh, the velocity has a magnitude of uh, 3 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. And then the magnitude of the magnetic field is uh, 2 tesla. And then sine of the angle between the magnetic field and uh, the velocity. 
So sine 30. So we have 1.6 times 3, that's 4.8. Times 10 to the uh, so we'll have 4.8 times 10 to the uh, well negative 14 newtons. So that's the magnitude of the magnetic force. Now, as for the direction, so that's just the right hand rule. And uh, the first, before you use the right hand rule, make sure that you're considering the component of the velocity perpendicular to the magnetic field. So in this case, you're going to consider this component of the velocity perpendicular to the magnetic field, and this is the V sine phi. Okay? So using the right hand rule, recall, right hand rule, velocity, magnetic field, and then magnetic force. So therefore, where is the velocity directed? Well, it's directed towards positive x. Okay, so that's the velocity. Okay, and uh, the magnetic field is directed towards positive c. So like that. Okay, so therefore, the magnetic force is directed that way. In this case, therefore, the magnetic force acting on the proton is directed this way. So, a circle with an X means directed away from you or into the board. So that's the direction of the magnetic force. Okay, so you have, again, you have velocity, magnetic field, magnetic force. But this one, this direction, based from our, our figure, is uh, towards negative y because recall that we're looking from the top so this is top view uh, we have this way is positive y and that's the opposite it's negative y so therefore if we're gonna write the uh, the whole answer for the magnetic force magnitude and direction then we have f so this is a vector it is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the negative 14 newtons uh, downward, okay, so we may, we may say because by con convention negative y is downward or you may write it as f is equal to negative 4.8 times 10 to the negative 14 newtons j. So there you go. So that's how simple it is to get the mag magnitude and direction of the magnetic force exerted by an external field on a moving charge.